guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, if you're new. Um, my name's Callie. I don't know if I had mentioned that before, but, um, please ignore my hair. This is, um, this is dry shampoo and bed hair mixed together for, like, two days, so. Um, well, I need to talk to you about Charles Manson, so. This information comes from the Wikipedia of him, but I will also link the Murderpedia and the Linkipedia, Wikipedia in the description below. So, I would like to say that all of this information is from the internet that I have gathered, and I will do my best to not just read it word for word, like I have been. But, yeah, let's get started. Oh, and I would like to note that my tripod tripod for this video is a selfie stick smushed between the two tennis shoes in the last two videos. So, hi guys. Um, yeah. Uh, Charles Miles Manson was born November 12th, 1934. He was born to Kathleen Maddox, who was 16 at the time that she had him. So, Charles's birth father was a man named Colonel Walker. Colonel Walker Henderson Scott. He was a con man and all that stuff. His actual given name was Colonel, by the way. So, found that a little odd. Um, his mother married a man named William Manson. I had it written down. I guess I've lost my notes. Ah, oh, here it is. I think, yeah. William Manson is his stepfather. But when Charles was born, he was named no name Maddox as a child until he was given the name Charles Miles Man Manson. He, he didn't exactly have the best childhood because his mother was an alcoholic and she was always bouncing houses and stuff like that. And her marriage had fallen apart and all that stuff. Um, she would go on to rob a man named Frank Martin with her brother Luther and his girlfriend and they her brother got 10 years and she was given five in prison and she was paroled in 1942 and he would later say that that is the best that was the happiest time of his life Whew. Um, Manson while his mother was in prison, he was sent to live with an aunt and an uncle. They don't have a name. I guess they didn't want to be part of the story. Mm -hmm. Anyway, his mother would move him to Charleston, West Virginia, where he would continue to play truant. Because all the time his mother was in jail as he was growing up, or as he was growing up and his mother was in jail and stuff, he was a truant. He, he didn't want to go to school. He stole stuff. He didn't want to go to school. So there was that. But when they moved to Charleston, uh, his um, he kept up his truant ways and he stepped up his game in robbing stuff. He was arrested for grand larceny his first time. 
but not convicted. And they moved to Indianapolis. Maddox, his mother, met a man named Lewis. It says he had no first name at an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. Charles... continued to st steal stuff and in 1947 1947 his mother tried to find him a good home but then he a good foster home but it didn't work out so she sent him to Gilbert Gilbalt school for boys in Terry hot Indiana a, mal a school for male delinquents run by Catholic priests. Charles would flee back to his mother and she would take him back. Christmas of 1947 he spent with his aunt and his uncle in McMinston where he was caught stealing a gun. Um, his first defense, Manson returned to Gilbalt, but ran away to Indianapolis ten months later. But he didn't go back to his mom. He, he ran out of room and he supported himself by stealing store, stealing from stores and stuff at night. He um he was he was caught and a sympathetic a sympathetic judge sent him to Boys Town, a juvenile, a juvenile facility in Omaha, Nebraska. Four days after, four days after he got there, he let he he fled with a guy named Blackie Nielsen. They stole a car and they says they somehow obtained a gun. I'm guessing they stole it. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm guessing they stole it, so there was that. Um, they used it to rob a grocery store and a casino as they made their way to Blackie's uncle in Perosha, Illinois. Black Blackie's uncle was a professional thief. He took the boys in, all that stuff. He gave them apprenticeships. He even took. And then Charles was caught. Two weeks later during a night raid on a Perosha store. In the investigation that followed, he was linked to his two previous crimes and he was sent to the Indian Indiana Boys School, which was a strict reform school. He later claimed that other students raped him with encouragement from a staff member. Manson developed a self-defense technique he later called the in the insane game where he would where if he was unable to physically defend himself he would screech grimace and Wave his arms around, hoping it would make them the attacker flee. After a number of failed attempts to escape, he fled. He escaped in February 1951 with two other boys. The three escapees were attempting to drive to California in stolen cars when they were arrested in Utah. They had robbed several filling stations. I'm going to guess gas stations because that's all I can really say. But it says filling stations along the way. And driving stolen cars across borders of the state here in the states is a federal offense. If the car does not belong to you or it is not legally, or you are not legally obligated to drive it, or you are under age, or you are not.
want the primary owner. Anytime you take a car across state lines, it usually has to be in your name or you have to legally be okay to drive it. But since these boys weren't, they were arrested for stealing the cars and going across state borders. Which is a... Which violates the Dyer Act. Manson was sent to Washington, D.C.'s National Tro National Training School for Boys on arrival. He was given an aptitude test, which pretty much determined if you can read, write, stuff like that. He was, he was smart, but he was illiterate. Illiterate. His IQ was just a little bit above average, but he, he, he knew what he was doing. Because the national average at this point was only 100 and his was 109. His caseworker deemed him aggressively antisocial. On his first imprisonment, on a psychiatrist's recommendation, Manson was transferred in October 1951 to Natural Bridge Honors Camp in a minimum security institution. His aunt that he grew up with when his mother was in prison visited him and told the administrators she would let him stay with her at her home and would help him find work. Manson had a parole hearing in February 1952, but January he was caught raping a boy at knife point. Manson had Manson was transferred to the federal reformatory in Petersburg, Virginia. There he committed further eight further serious dis Serious disciplinary offenses, three of which involved homosexual acts. He was then moved to a maximum security reformatory at Chilashi, Ohio, where he was expected to remain until his 21st birthday in November 1955. Good behavior got him out early in May 1954 to live with his aunt and his uncle. In, in 55, Manson married hospital waitress Rosalie Jean Willis around October, three months after he and him and his wife, who was very pregnant, apparent, who was pregnant, arrived in Los Angeles in a car in Ohio. He stole from Ohio. Manson was again arrested for the crime. After his psyche vow, he was given five years probation. And pretty much he was just messed up. He was just kind of messed up at this point. Well, he had spent most of his life in and out of correctional facilities. So, yeah, you're going to be a little messed up. His failure to appear at a Los Angeles court hearing in an ident on identical charges filed in Florida resulted in... In his March 1956 arrest in Indianapolis, his probation was revoked and he was sentenced to three years imprisonment at Terminal Island, San Pedro, California. While he was in prison, Rosalie had the baby, which was named, which he, it was a boy, and he was named Charles Manson Jr. During his first year, she would visit with his mother and then... His mother informed him that his wife was with another man. Less than two weeks before a scheduled parole hearing, Manson tried to escape by stealing a car. He was given five years probation, and his parole was de his parole was denied. Manson received five years parole in September 1958, the same year in which Rosalie re received a decree for divorce. Which, that's the last time we're going to hear about Rosalie. By November, he was... Pimping a 16-year-old girl and was receiving additional 
support from a girl with wealthy parents. In September 1959, he pleaded guilty to a charge of attempting to cash a forged treasury check, which he claimed to have stolen from a mailbox. The latter charge... Ooh. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Did not mean for that to happen. Okay. I really didn't mean for y'all to do that. <laughs> I am so, so, so sorry. Um, since he was trying to forge the, for trying to cash the forged treasury check, he received a 10 year suspended sentence after a girl named Leona said they were deeply in love and would marry Charlie if he were freed. Before the year's end, they did marry, possibly so that she wouldn't have to testify him. Manson took Leona and another woman to New Mexico for the purpose of prostitution, which he ended up, which ended with him being held and violating the Man Act. Um, though he was released, he correctly assumed that they were not done with him. When he disappeared in a viol in violation of his probation, a bench warrant was issued. An indictment indi indictment for violation of the Mann Act followed in April 1960. When one of the women was arrested for prostitution, Manson was arrested in June in Laredo, Texas and was returned to Los Angeles for violating his probation on the cash checking a uh, check cashing thing. He was ordered to serve his 10 year sentence. Manson spent a year unsuccessfully trying to appeal in, 1960, in July 1961 he was transferred from Los Angeles County Jail to the United States Penitentiary at McNeil's at McNeil Island, Washington. There he took guitar lessons from Barker Carpus gang leader Alvin Creepy Carpus and obtained another inmate contact of someone at Universal in Hollywood. Phil Kaufman. His second imprisonment was okay. Let's back up. Although man, the the Man Act charge had been dropped. The attempt to cash the forged check, uh, towards treasury check, was still a federal offense. Manson's 1961 annual review noted he liked to call attention to himself, which was repeated in 1964. In 1963, Lenona was granted a divorce, during which she alleged they had a son, Charles Luther. In July, six in July 1966, he was sent for the second time to Terminal Island in preparation of an early release. By the time his March 21st, 1967 release date had come, he had spent more than half of his life in prisons and other correctional institutions. Federal crimes are more se severe in sentences than the state crimes for the same offenses. When he got out, he formed his, what is now known as the Manson family. Pretty much my notes just go on to tell about all of his stuff and his, how he thought he was Jesus and how he thought he was the son of man and they went to Washington 
state, then to LA, Mexico, then Southwest, and then returned to LA. In 67, Brunner, Brunner had become pregnant. They had the baby. Mike Valentine Michael. He was nicknamed Pooh Bear. She had taken on several little aliases. He also knew actor Al Lewis, who had let him babysit a few times. He met Gary Stromberg. Storm, Stromberg through Phil Kaufman and on this he was working on a movie about a modern America black Jesus and southern redneck Romans Charles having been increasingly attached to the role showed his showed the place of women he had by having one of his women kiss his feet, but then he kissed her in return. At the beach one day during the movie, his he preached about an anti-materialistic outlook on life, and somebody drove a doubter drove away with his van. He had a dynamic personality. With the ability to read pe to read a person's weakness and play them. And then his third imprisonment was because he murdered Sharon Tate. And hang on, I have this up on my Kindle actually. He was. His third imprisonment was because he murdered, he was convicted on the counts of seven murders on the deaths of Abigail Ann Folger, Walczyk Ferusky. I'm sure I butchered that name no matter how many times I could try to pronounce it. Stephen Earl Parent, Sharon Tate Polanski. Jay Sebring and Lena Leno and Rosemary the Bianca. He was sentenced to death, but in 1972, California had temporarily banned the death sentence, so he was commuted to life in prison with the possibility of parole. On December 13th, 1971, he was convicted of first-degree murder in Los Angeles County Court for the July 25th, 1969 death of musician Gary Hinman. He was also convicted of first-degree murder of for the August 1969 death of Donald Jer Jerome Sh Shorty Shea. And the 1972 decision that neutralized California's death sentences stated that any prisoner, any prisoner under a sentence of death may file a petition for writ of habeas corpus in the Superior Court inviting that court to modify its judgment to provide for the appropriate and alternative punishment of life imprisonment or life imprisonment without possibility of parole specified by statute for the crime for which he was sentenced to, to death. Accordingly, his first parole took place on November 16th, 1978, at California Medical Facility in Vacaville, and his petition, petition for parole was rejected. His also, he was originally sentenced to a death on February 2nd, 1977, so that's worth noting, I guess. In the 1980s, Manson gave four interviews to the mainstream media. The first recorded 
was aired June 13, 1981, was by Tom Snyder for the NBC's The Tomorrow Show. The second was recorded at San Quentin State Prison and aired March 7, 1986, was by Charlie Rose for CBS News Nightwatch. It won the National Emmy for Best Interview in 1987. The third, with Gerald Rivera. In 1988, it was part of a journalist's primetime special on Satanism. At least as early as the Snyder interview, Manson's forehead bore a swastika in the spot where the X carved in the spot where the X carved during his trial had been. Nicholas Swick conducted an interview with Manson for his documentary documentary. Charles Manson, Superstar, 1989, con concluded that Manson was not insane but merely acting that way out of frustration. On September 25th, 1984, he was imprisoned at the California Medical Facility at Vacaville when inmate Jean Jan Holmstrom poured paint thinner on him and set him on fire, causing second and third degree burns. <coughs> Over oh, I can't get y'all to stay still today. Anyway, Jan Holmstrung had did this and it left second and third degree burns on over. 20% of his body. Holmstrom explained that Manson had objected his had objected to his hair Krishna chants and verbally threatened him. After 1989, Manson was housed in protective housing unit at California State Prison in Cochran, Cochran, Can Kings County. The unit houses inmates whose safety would be endangered by general population housing. He had also been housed in, at San Quintino, San Quentin State Print Prison, California Medical Facility, Folsom State Prison, and Pelican Bay State Prison. In June 1997, a prison disciplinary committee found that Mason had been trafficking drugs. That August, he was moved to Corcoran Cor State Prison to, to Pelican Bay State Prison. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. I swear I'm almost done. On September 5th, 2007, aired... MSNBC aired The Mind of Manson, a complete version of a 1987 interview. The footage of the unshackled, unapologetic, and unruly Manson had been considered so unbelievable that only seven minutes had been originally broadcast on the Today Show for which it had been recorded. In March 2009, a photographer of Manson a photograph of Manson showing a receding hairline, grizzled gray beard, and the swastika tattoo still prominent on, for on his forehead was released to the public by California cor corrections officials. In 2010, the Los Angeles Times reported that Manson was caught with a cell phone in 2009 and had contacted people in California, New Jersey, and British Columbia spokesman for the California Department. Department of Corrections stated that it was not known if Manson had used the phone for criminal purposes. Manson also recorded an album of acoustic pop songs with an adi with additional production by Henry R Rollins titled Completion. Only five copies were pressed. Two belonged to Rollins and the other three I presume to have been with Manson. The albums remain unreleased. On January 1st, 2017, Manson was suffering with gastrointestinal bleeding at California State Prison, where he was rushed to Mercy Hospital in downtown Bakersfield. A source told LA Times that Manson was seriously ill. 
TMC reported his doctors considered him too weak for surgery. He was to return to the prison by January 6th. Whatever treatment he had received was disclosed. On November 15th, 2017, a source not authorized to speak on behalf of the corrections department confirmed that Mas Ma Manson had returned to the hospital in Bakersfield. In compliance with the federal and state medical privacy laws, the California Department of Deve Corrections and Rehabilitation did not confirm this. He died from cardiac arrest resulting from respiratory failure and colon cancer at the hospital four days later on November 19th. Three people stated their intention to claim Manson's estate and body. Manson's grandson, Jason Freeman, stated his intent to take possession of Manson's remains and personal effects. Michael Channels, a pen pal of Manson's, has a will dated February, 20, February 14th, 2002 that leaves Manson's entire estate plus his body to him. A friend of Manson's, Ben Gurick, has dated a will has a will dated January 2017 that gives the estate and Manson's body to his alleged son, Matthew Roberts. In 2012, CNN ran a DNA match to see if Freeman and Roberts really related each other and found out they were not. Matches between Roberts and Manson's were attempted, but the results were reportedly contaminated. On March 12, 2018, the Kern County Superior Court in California decided to favor Freeman in regard to Manson's body. Freeman had previously said that he would have Manson cremated, and in fact did so on March 20th, 2018. Don't mind that, that was just my laptop restarting. In 